Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Mr. Miller here again. This is a Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 29th of April. Uh, so we're looking at uh, looking at uh, another debate today. So at this point, you should have submitted the political process reading and questions uh, that were on Monday and Tuesday. And today we're going to be looking at a debate. Uh, the debate for today is titled, uh, Should the U.S. Have Tougher Gun Control Laws? Should the U.S. Have Tougher Gun Control Laws? Which I think should be interesting uh, if you think about it. Uh, we have had a long history of uh, gun usage in America, but also a long history of uh, guns and uh, gun control, trying to crack down on guns. So uh, this is kind of a debate. Okay, should we crack down on guns more than are already uh, done or no? Uh, should, we, should we keep the restrictions as they are or should we even loosen them? So uh, take some time, read the perspectives on this debate, and then uh, you can uh, write up a one paragraph response uh, detailing what your viewpoint is on the topic. So one paragraph, that's all you got to write. Uh, so that's it. That's all you've got. And um, I guess that's all I got to say. Now, uh, one important thing to mention, uh, tomorrow and Friday, there's no current event due this week. Okay, we went through current event number 10 last week. So there is not a current event due this week. Instead, uh, what I'm giving you is Thursday and Friday uh, will be catch-up days, time to make up uh, time, time to make up work uh, for the marking period. The marking period ends on Friday, so work should be kind of getting turned into me. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be in by Friday, but I would absolutely love it by Friday. Uh, I think I'm going to probably set the cutoff uh, for the uh, any work that I'm going to get be able to get into the marking period. Uh, at least on the report card, uh, will be kind of Sunday night. Uh, so if you're still working on stuff over the weekend, that's fine. Send it in to me uh, by Sunday night, and I'll get the grades figured out Monday and Tuesday and then submit it. Now, uh, there will still be an opportunity to make up old work. Uh, we're still working on the details of that time and when that work will be absolutely due by. Uh, but as I detailed in my video that I posted on Monday, uh, I guess my video that I emailed to you all on Monday. Um, I will have, uh, basically, if you haven't earned a 65, I'll mark you down as an incomplete, and then you'll have to turn in more work to be able to earn a passing grade. So that's kind of the, the, the thought. So you'll be able to turn in work uh, after you see that you've gotten an incomplete and after the marking period is kind of uh, done. Uh, but you still should turn in that stuff and still improve that grade to get up to a passing grade. So um, that is the detail. Now, all the work up until last Friday is all that we've got to do for this marking period. None of the stuff from this week is going on this, the fifth marking period. It's going on next marking period, which is the sixth marking period. So don't be worrying about uh, making up that stuff if you haven't done it yet. Uh, worry about the stuff that is older and, and getting all that stuff done. You should still stay on top of the stuff for this week because otherwise you fall behind and you, you lose track of everything. Uh, but if you need to take some time uh, on Thursday and Friday making up some work from beforehand in the marking period, I would do that rather than making up work from this week at this point. So uh, that is kind of the, the deal. Now, I think that's all I've got to say. So again, today working on the debate. Uh, Thursday and Friday, I'll come back tomorrow and, and outline this, but you're, you're working on catching up, uh, doing all the work that you might have missed over the course of the uh, marking period so far. And uh, from there, I'll start getting some grades inputted uh, for the end of the marking period. So uh, with that being said, I apologize. I just yawn. I'm sorry. Um, with that being said, I am going to uh, sign off and see you guys again back here tomorrow uh, where we can talk about what we're doing. So uh, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. I forgot to mention, uh, so I'm just throwing this in at the end of the video. I forgot to mention uh, I'm doing a live video tonight, another uh, Wednesday night live with Mr. Miller. That's what I'm kind of branding it as now. Uh, but uh, spreading some some joy and cheer during this during this turbulent time. Uh, so if you are interested, 9 p.m. tonight, uh, it is going to be on YouTube this time. Uh, so on my YouTube channel, not on my Instagram page, uh, not on the Miller Trees Instagram page uh, that a lot of you guys follow. 
Um, it is going to be on uh, the YouTube channel, so it is going to be right here. So if you need to uh, need to figure out where that is, you could just follow the link to this video, and uh, it'll be right on that channel. I've actually already posted a scheduled live event, uh, so that is uh, that is ready to go on there. So um, I think that's all I've got to say. Uh, but yeah, 9 p.m. If you're interested, oh, it's on YouTube. Uh, I have a special guest coming uh, this time. Uh, so special guest is going to be involved and should be fun. Uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and uh, enjoy that. So uh, should be good. So tonight, 9 p.m. If you're interested, that's all I've got to got to say about that. So I feel like Forrest Gump saying that. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Okay, uh, that's all I got to say. Uh, so I'll see you guys again tomorrow or tonight at 9 p.m. if you're interested. So see you then.